Hello. We're on day 10 of the July Bar Show. Time for a quick strike. Hello and welcome to day 10. If you have not watched through day 10 of the July Bar Show, please stop. There are spoilers ahead. And if any of you are confused that there was not a day five, that uh, there was not a day five quick strike, uh, I have been very, very busy. We have our first preview of School of Rock on Saturday. So we are now in what we call tech week, which is sort of, uh, it's, it's busy, let's just say. But if any of you are interested in seeing School of Rock, I'll have the info down below. And if any of you are interested in seeing some cool photos and videos, uh, subscribe to the Tuacon Instagram page, uh, which I'll also have below, tuacon.amp, for amphitheater, not like amp. All right, so we're at day 10, and clearly the story everyone is talking about is that we have two undefeated people, and it's the two we really, really hoped would be undefeated by day 10. It's Tara Nafuji and Hakuho. Oh man, just so rarely in sports do you get the thing you really, really wanted to happen. Uh, I, I did want this to happen. I didn't expect it to happen. I really thought that Nagoya was going to be a lot harder on Hakuho just because he hasn't wrestled uh, a full tournament in over a year. Uh, and Nagoya tends to be a little bit harder because of the, the heat, the humidity, and uh, the sometimes uh, inconsistent HVAC system in the Nagoya gym. But oh, I have never been happier to be wronger. We are setting up for a day 15, 14 and 0 versus 14 and 0 for all the marbles. Uh, the Bansuke, this tournament is a little bit like Takara Fuji, a uh, thin on top. We are missing Asanoyama because of COVID protocols. Takakesho, hurt. Uh, I mean, if we're seeing guys like Okunoumi and Chiyotaru down at like Maigashira 5 facing the Yokozuna, it means we've got a bit of a thin Bansuke. So over the next five days, it looks like if we're going by rank, Terra no Fuji and Hakuho are both going to face the Komusubi they haven't faced. They're going to face each other and these three guys, Takeyasu, Shodai, and Matakeyumi. So the real question over the last five days is going to, or the next five days, is going to be, can any of those three people beat Hakuho or Terra no Fuji? And I know that they all have, you know, Kinboshi under their belt and they all have beaten Yokozuna in their time. But the question is, will it happen this time? Hakuho has won all of his matches. He's had a few close calls in there, especially that Taka No Show match. Even Hakuho knew he got away with one. Terra Nafuji has looked really, really solid from day one, but then of course, we know he's just like one bad step away from having to go out with a knee injury, so let me know what you guys think. Some special props to Kota Nawaka, the only other person other than our leaders to get Kachikoshi, having a great tournament. I could see if we have a few upsets. He gets promoted up near the end just to make sure that he's not in the championship race. As expected, Hoshoryu is doing very well this tournament. I expect him to get Kachikoshi. Uh, Ichi Nojo, uh, no pun intended, has looked very, very solid this tournament. So let's see if this bumps him a little closer to getting back into the Sanyaku. I will be exploring all the other interesting subplots we have going on, including like Hoshoryu and Ura and oh goodness, Daesho. We'll be exploring that in the wrap-up episode, but for right now, how do you think the last five days are going to go? Who do you think is going to lift the cup? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you for joining us on this quick strike, and I will see you next time on the Dohyo. <laughs>